Saw you in the club, ask you what your name They ain't told me I should just call you miss It got me wondering why I'm thinking you're right Attitude or lock them, you a keeper girl I wanna get to know you, to you I'll be loyal I Welcome to Rising Stars with Blessed Media Family where we continue to review buried talents within Zimbabwe. So today in the building we have uh, Watson Rungwe, an artist, and I am your guest today, Asali Amzara. So help me welcome Watson Rungwe. Hello family, how are you doing? Um, my name is Watson, uh, but in the circle of art people call me Vogue. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so uh, who is Vogue? Is that? Well, Vogue, um, in short, is a creative. Uh, he mainly focuses on music and media at the same time. Because um, so far, I've, I've been a recording artist. I also write my own music, and I also do my own videos. I also do the scripting, so that's who Vogue is at the moment. Okay, uh, so what motivated you to be an artist well what motivated me to be an artist is i think first and foremost i'd like to um hand the gratitude to my mother because she's the one who actually um told me, told me to be the artist i am today okay and so you're saying your mother is the one who inspired you yeah my mother is my mother is the, is the inspiration to my art okay so uh as as of your music, which which genre do you draw into specifically? Um, about genre, I'd actually say I'm an alternative artist because okay. in high school it actually started in high school when I was doing gospel, mm -hmm. like you know singing in the choir. Okay. But then when I moved out from high school, I actually started doing rap, um, hip hop, uh, R and B, trap, and a bit of trap soul and Afro pop. Okay. So that's when I'm mostly based. So, uh, when you are singing, do you really sing about anything related to politics or is it just something that comes in your mind? As you said, you are a songwriter as well, right? Yeah. Well, what I can say is I take my music as literature. Okay. Literature is like the gateway to life as itself. It's a mirror to life. So anything that I see that's relatable to you and me, myself, I actually sing about it. Because in the end, art is supposed to be relatable. It's supposed to have an emotion that gives you, uh, is it a happy feeling, a sad feeling, or a feeling about you conquering something. So that's how I take my, my music as. Okay. So do you have anyone you look up to as for the artist, whether Zim based or an international artist? Mm. The only artist I can say I actually look up to at the moment is Nasty, is Nasty C. He's the um, role model. He's actually the person I'm actually looking forward to, to actually inspiring him. VOC, freestyle. Say, black, white, I'm panda. With a mic on my side, I'm a wonder. Going through greater heights, my ladder. If you time, it just sounds better. Tears in your face, so what's the matter? I'm just who I am and I'm murdered. Done with questions, ask them further. You went tight, we can't be leather. You salute, I don't recruit. I'm the truth and you can face it. I ain't sympathetic, I kill like babies. People get it, but they don't make babies. Shut your mind, that's my hobby. VOC, no. to have a collaboration with Nice to see something. Yeah, I'd actually be looking forward to it. And who else would you like to collaborate with Zimbabwe? Um, in Zimbabwe, I'd be looking forward to collaborate with Tanta Wavy, um, Takura, uh, Holy Tin, um, who else? MMG, Script Mola. I think that's about it. Okay. So, um, 
you said uh, as you're an artist, do you have any challenges that you face uh, as we take, like for instance, right now we have coronavirus running around and do you feel like it has been taking you back? I actually feel like it's, it's been taking me back because if you look at the current situation, uh, if you're an artist in Zimbabwe, an upcoming artist, mm -hmm. it's actually difficult for you to secure funds, for example, to shoot a video, um, to actually go in the studio and record. Mm -hmm. So as an artist, you have to have means of hustling to actually support your, your, your grind. Like um, at the moment, I'm, I'm a school student. Mm -hmm. so. At, at the same time, you have, to, you have to balance school, you have to balance your hustle, you have to balance the other hustles that support the grind to music. Mm -hmm. So with coronavirus around, it's actually difficult now to actually do other hustles that support the music. So that's what I actually deem as a challenge with coronavirus. And talking about other hustles, uh, would you mind telling us which other hustles you do? Okay, so other hustles that I do, I'm a professional chef, okay. that's one. Um, the other hustle that I do is whenever I get the chance, mm -hmm. I actually go out and do photo shoots for other people right. that actually help me secure, for, uh, secure funds okay. to record my music. Mm -hmm. Then um, what else? Um, I'm a free writer as well. Mm -hmm. I've written some songs for the people in the industry. Like um, if you take a look at um, songs which were done by Young Nash mm -hmm. back in 2013, like those were some hustles that actually helped me to record my first song. So up until now, I actually do some free writing for some people. And uh, as as you are who you are, do you wish to uh, work with a certain group of people, or do you wish to get uh, a contract with a certain production so that you really get your music far, or you have your own production? Well, my vision is I think contracts are actually risky, but it depends how the contract is actually written out. But I would actually like to have my own thing going on. Like, I have my own record label, I have my own production house. That's the, that's the vision that I have. Okay. So, uh, if you're given a chance to uh, work with any of the recording labels here in Zimbabwe, which one would you find the best? Um, probably I'll choose Military Touch. Um, another media house that I would actually choose would be Sim Dog Production. I think those two media houses and production houses have been actually been going head, head on with the art industry in Zimbabwe. Okay. So as you say, you have how many albums? As you uh, at the moment I have one album okay. and then I'm actually currently working on my first EP. My, intro, my introductory EP to the industry. Okay. And amongst all your songs, which song would you find the best? And which song would you say, I really taste everything into it? Uh, so far, um, I have a song which is coming out, which is called Better Man. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the current song which I would say I put all my energy. I've worked from, because the song I actually wrote it like in a space of about two weeks. So it's the first time I've actually written a song for, for that long. So I think that's the song that I'd say I, I put all my energy into. Okay. And normally, uh, what, what, what space of time do you take when you are writing something? Taking a look at how artists go about in Coke Studio Africa, mm -hmm. when they're doing those impromptu records, like they hear the beat first, then they start writing. Okay. So if you notice like the speed that they write the songs, probably it's like in an hour. So I think the shortest space of time I've been practicing myself to write a song is 30 minutes. Right. And do you get any support from your family or you support yourself? At the moment I'm getting support from the family because um, the current video that I'm doing, uh, I've actually got help from family in the UK. So they're actually sponsoring like the funds to do my video. So what advice would you want to give to other students who have the same vision as yours? Um, the advice that I'll give them is that first finish school, because if, if you take a look at our PDD uh, Buster Rhymes, mm -hmm. those people are actually well learned. 
they have degrees and everything. Mm -hmm. So if you use your educational background mm -hmm. and combine it with the hustle that you're doing, it actually makes you street smart. It actually makes you street smart and book smart. So if you combine those two talents, it actually makes you someone who's actually a, a force to be reckoned with. Okay, uh, and. Looking at your dressing, what really motivates you to dress the way you do? Um, I think it's about representing the culture. Mm -hmm. So if you take a look at how um, I could talk about um, hip hop artists in Africa and in the States, international artists, it's all about showing who you are, where you come from. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, in, that's what it inspires my dressing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you fans would like to get in touch with you, where can they find your work, your songs and everything? Uh, firstly, they can look me up on YouTube, YouTube it's VOA Creations ZW, uh, same applies for Facebook, it's VOA Creations ZW, then on other social media handles, it's Instagram, Twitter, uh, they look up Vogue 3 k then um, uh, on Reverb Nation and SoundCloud, they use Vogue 3 k as well. So thank you, Vok. So we have, so we have heard from Vok, an artist as well as a scholar, who is pursuing his uh, his career to a next level. So that's it for today uh, with Rising Stars. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Give this video some likes and. Make sure to give us some of your suggestions in our comment section. So thank you for that. Saw you in the club, ask you what your name. They ain't told me I should just call you miss. It got me wondering why I'm thinking you're right. Attitude or lock them, you a keeper girl. I wanna get to know you, to you I'll be loyal. I wanna make you mine, you made my blood boil. One pity gaze got me paying a girl, you're so special. The DJ got a hearts playing on a stereo. You spin my world, you and me. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. The cover we be having, the Cover be so deep, ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind. She already made me fall. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind. She already made me fall.